How did the first day of full pads feel? Uh, man, it's just so much fun to be back out there, you know, being with the guys. Uh, obviously, we, we had all spring together, all summer together, but, you know, really leading up into season now, um, there's really no feeling like it. So so being able to be out here, you know, first day back, full pads, it's, a, it's truly a blessing. Now, now that you've been through it, the whole baseball football balance, what did you learn through that process and how would you kind of look back on it? I would say uh, the biggest thing is just communication is key. Um, you know, it's there's a lot of moving parts um, for both sides, you know, on the baseball side and on the football side. Um, so just communicating to, you know, whether it be strength coaches, whether it be my position coaches, um, you know, my coaches on the baseball side, just about how I'm feeling, what's working for me, what's not working for me, what I may have, um, like what I need to be at, what I don't need to be at. Um, I think all of that stuff, um, it's just key, like, I just have to be vocal about that stuff and, uh, and you know, what, what my needs are, what I feel like I need to do um, and, and to be successful. Do you feel it's still sustainable moving forward? Absolutely, absolutely. The, the plans to continue to do it and uh, and hopefully be able to do it at a high level and, uh, and yeah, have, have a fun year this year. There was a noticeable difference in how practice sounded today. You guys, you guys seen a lot more energetic, a lot more exuberant. Uh, can you just talk about the competition level and how the level of intensity is starting to ramp up? Absolutely. Um, I mean, you know, I think I think you can always feel it. Um, you know, whether it be the first day of camp, you know, first day of spring ball, uh, first day of pads, first day of full pads. Um, you know, the challenge you're you're always gonna have that on the first day because you know guys are super excited to be back, super excited to be hitting again. Um, you know, just to be back in competition. But the challenge is going to be whether or not we can sustain it. And so our goal as this football team is to, you know, not just have that energy on the first day of, of whatever it may be. It's, um, you know, the elite teams, the best teams, the teams that go on to win championships are able to sustain that energy uh, throughout, you know, all of fall camp, not just on the first day that we may have something or maybe after an off day. And so, um, you know, I think that's going to be one of the big challenges for us. Um, throughout this fall camp is just, you know, trying to sustain that energy throughout the rest of the year. When you consider what's going to be required of you to add or to contribute to this offense, what's your mentality and in in your approach towards this upcoming season? Yeah, um, obviously our receiver room is absolutely loaded. Um, you know, I think we've got an immense amount of talent in there. Um, and so, and Coach Riley obviously is one of the best offensive minds in college football. Um, and so he's going to find, you know, he's going to find ways to be able to use, uh, use all of us to our strengths. Um, and, and, you know, he's going to come up with creative ways to, to get all of us the ball in, um, you know, in the ways that, that we play to our strengths. Um, so I'm super excited to see, you know, um, what, what we can end up doing together because, like I said, I think, I think we have a great group who can do some really special things. What's your challenge to yourself development-wise, like the next step you want to take this year? Um, yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing for me is, is um, kind of just being more physical, you know. Um, one, of my, one of my biggest God-given abilities um, is that I'm, you know, 6'6", and, and um, you know, so I, I feel like one of my big things is play like I'm 6'6", six, six, you know, play physical, play like I'm bigger than than the DBs that I'm going to face. And so that's been one of my focuses throughout the spring and the summer and, and hopefully continue to carry that over through this fall and, and this winter. You, talk, you talked about the room. What does Josiah bring? Josiah, man, Josiah is Mr. Reliable. I mean, he is an absolutely do-it-all kind of guy. He um, He's a veteran. He's been here. Um, you know, through both coaching staffs. Um, he's a guy who he'll show up every single day and you know exactly what you're going to get. He's an absolutely outstanding leader, um, a great competitor. You know, he's going to he's going to make every play you ask him to. to. And um, so, like, for example, right, he uh, he just did an internship in New York at the at the end of summer. Right. He had to miss a week of of uh, lifting like with the with the team for that internship. But um, but man, he was out there every single day. He was up 5 a.m. sending us videos of him doing all the lifts that we were doing. Uh, you know, literally same exact lift that we did in the weight room at that same time. And he's getting it done, you know, 3,000 miles across the country before he starts his internship. So uh, if that doesn't tell you what type of character he has, you know, what type of leadership he brings, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what else would. Thank you guys. Thank you.